Good day, everybody, and welcome to another edition of the Military and Foreign Affairs Network. I am your host, the Voice of Reason. Today, we are continuing our ongoing coverage of the war between the Russian Federation and Ukraine. Well, it appears that the possibility of a Ukrainian counteroffensive continues to increase. Uh, today, and within the last 24 hours, a certain U.S. Senator, let me pull him up here for you, <clears throat> there he is, Senator Lindsey Ladybug Graham, stated that uh, the Ukrainians, I believe, were getting ready to knock the holy hell out of the Russians, is that what, what was his exact term was, his exact is that verbiage? You know, this guy is a really strange dude. <clears throat> if you look, if you look at his history, how he grew up, and where he, where he's at now, and the, the political party that uh, he belongs to, very very interesting. And the whole backstory with the whole ladybug issue and uh, this guy is a hawk and and a, a a hardcore hawk at that and probably uh one of the last uh fellers men <laughs> that uh, i would want in a foxhole next to me quite frankly but he continues to get elected and uh, he uh, he he doesn't like the Ruskies too much, <laughs> and uh, yeah, his uh, his belief is the Ukrainians are getting ready to knock the holy hell out of the Russians. Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens here in the next uh, next day, next two days, next next week. Difficult to say if and when uh, this will will actually uh, kick off. Enough of a ladybug. Another uh, a series of events has, ha has occurred over the last 24 hours as well. One of the largest uh, Russian drone strikes that uh, really has been launched all across Ukraine. Specifically, uh, many have been launched at Kiev. And the uh, Ukrainians are reporting that... Uh, all of them have been shot down, every single one of them. Not one Russian drone hit one target. Very interesting. <clears throat> I believe one person may have been killed, being reported by the, uh, the Ukrainians, uh, as these uh, drones have uh, impacted across Kiev. Now, we do know that if it were to hit a military target, uh, that information would not be shared in any aspect. Any any military target, other than civilian targets that are reportedly hit, then in all likelihood, the Ukrainians will not report it. And that's very interesting. So think about that for a second. If the Russians launch all these drones against targets in Kiev... Now, let's say, let's just take the Ukrainians at, at kind of face value and say that they had the ability to shoot down 50% of these kamikaze drones, which may be reasonable. I, I, I seriously doubt 100% effectiveness. Seriously doubt it. But let's just say 50%. And the Ukrainians are reporting that just one civilian was killed. So what does that mean? Does that mean that 100% of these drones hit Ukrainian military targets in and around Kiev? I mean, again, the uh, if, if the Russians are, are going after civilian targets as reported by the Ukrainians 
and you have just one fatality in this very large drone attack against this very large city of three million people. I mean, you would have to you would have to think that they, the Russians, did a fairly effective job of going after military targets. If the Ukrainian side is just reporting the loss of one civilian. Think about that for a second. Or, or the Ukrainians indeed shot down every single drone that the Russians uh, uh, fired at Kiev. And we know there were drone attacks uh, elsewhere as, uh, as well. Again, the largest drone attack uh, since, the, uh, since the conflict, the, since the war uh, began. If we look at uh, headlines, uh, Ukraine turns to Germany with official request for provision of Taurus cruise missiles. And then another one here with uh, Russia pummels Kiev with waves of explosive drones ahead of Ukrainian founding holiday. Another one, Kiev hit by largest Russian drone attack on the capital. Then you have uh, the, uh, the Ukrainian strike at Berdyansk. The Ukrainian strikes at occupied Berdyansk destroys huge amount of Russian troops. Mayor. Russian strikes Ukrainian clinic blames Kiev for border attacks. One dead after sleepless Kiev hit with biggest Russian drone attack of war. And then finally, Putin planning provocation at nuclear power station, Ukraine claims. But definitely within uh, the, uh, the area of this counteroffensive, uh, the, the, the Ukrainians are, are, are very much telegraphing that uh, something big is getting ready to happen. Compounding that, it's possible... Uh, Zelensky was at the Pentagon, and we know he was here in the United States. Uh, we're not sure if he's actually back in Ukraine as of yet. He's been out of Ukraine for quite some time now, for several weeks. And uh, not sure if he's, uh, he's heading back. It's, it's widely believed that he could be uh, one of the prime targets right now for Russian forces. Especially after the... Uh, the uh, Ukrainian strike on the uh, one of the flagpoles at the Kremlin. So that's where we are today. Again, we will continue to cover. We will continue to watch what is happening on the ground. Uh, we we expect, at least as being reported by the Ukrainians, uh, that something fairly large could kick off here within the next uh, uh, few days, uh, possibly longer, uh, possibly much sooner. Uh, but that's where we're at. Thank you for joining us. More to come very, very soon. As always, have a good day. And you too, Ladybug. You have a good day as well.